Since I just finished the restoration on the camper shell, I don't need my old style of curtains anymore. In fact, I wouldn't be able to use them if I wanted to because they were stuck on to the fiberglass with sticky hooks. Since I have the carpet lining inside now, I'm gonna go with more of a Velcro method. I've spent a lot of time on YouTube looking at videos or looking for videos that explain or showcase how to make true blackout curtains for a truck topper. They're okay, most of them are also just Reflectix and they stick it up and hope that it stays and there's light leaks. So my goal is to create something that's truly light leak free looks good aesthetically inside the new truck camper shell. I've got some of the materials here, but I'll go over that later on. This is basically what I'm gonna be using for the curtains. I'm gonna basically use paper to create an outline of the window, and then I can use that to put down on Reflectix as a starting base layer. got my template cut out for the first window. However, to ensure that no light gets out, I wanna make the curtain itself wider and taller than the actual window. So I'm gonna make it maybe two inches wider and that will also give me a edge to put my Velcro on, which will attach to the carpeting on the camper shell. I've actually got two rolls of this Reflectix left over. They're not quite wide enough to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna to have to basically seam two pieces together to create the proper width. To join them, I'm gonna use this aluminum tape. Because I want the actual curtain to be bigger than the shape of the glass window, I'm going to take my ruler and go about two and a half inches and I'm going to basically take a sharpie and I'm going to make dots around the edge so that way I can see where my perimeter is going to be when I make my cut on the actual Reflectix. So now we have our cutout here of our piece that's gonna fit over this window. It's two and a half inches bigger than the window itself, which again will give me room on the edge to put my Velcro so it will actually stick all the way around and prevent any light leaking. A lot of people would stop right here and call that good enough. And I don't blame them because it does block the view from inside. However, it's very apparent that there's Reflectix behind this window. We're going for more of a blacked out window look so you can't even tell that there's... But what we're going for is more of a true stealth and you won't even be able to tell that there's anything up against the window. It will just look like it's dark tint. So let me update you with where I'm at. This is, this is good because I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the first one and then I'll do the other ones off camera and then I'll show you the final product. So we have our Reflectix and what I've chosen to do is I'm using the same fabric one side is this kind of, I don't know what the proper term is, cargo material. And then the other side is this very like almost rubberized side. And the rubberized side, I want to put facing the window because of condensation buildup. It's gonna happen regardless. This side will be easy to just take a towel, wipe it dry. Both sides are black, so it should do a very good job of hiding the Reflectix. I'm gonna take some super 3M77, same stuff I used for the headliner, and I'm gonna basically spray both sides, hit it and adhere both sides of the fabric to the actual Reflectix, and we'll see how that turns out. Here's our first window done, well not done, but nearly finished to give you a good idea. So this side, the gloss side, is gonna be what faces outside. And this side will be inside. It's a more of a fabric material. I feel like it would look better for the interior going up against the carpet. But I also have this twill tape and it's basically about a one inch wide piece of fabric. And I'm gonna use that to kind of fold over and go around the whole edge to basically provide some trim around the whole thing and make it look much better. To hold that on, I'm gonna be using this E6000, what is this, industrial strength adhesive. So I've gone ahead and finished the back glass and the two windows here on the sides. I still have yet to do the slider windows I actually halted my entire process and I'll show you why. If you can't tell, my mat for the back glass has totally fallen off and honestly the glue is just not holding up. 
especially for the Velcro. It's not holding up the best the fabric to the actual Reflectix, especially this side. I feel like this side here, if it bends at all, it kind of becomes loose. I'm kind of scrapping the whole idea that I had so far. Contact cement. And two brushes. It's been close to a week now. I've been working on this project. It's been quite frustrating. I wanted to show you guys the whole process and how they actually turned out all together. These top two here are the first ones I did. These ones belong on these two windows here. They definitely came out the best. The only issue I have, and maybe you can see that, but the fabric doesn't want to stick to the Reflectix too well. I should have used more glue here. Those two, at least for now, are usable. Then we have these two longer ones, which I made up for the slider windows. These two, in my opinion, look like crap. I ended up having to buy a different type of material for the edging and it just didn't work as well. But I did use a different method to adhere this. I used the contact cement and the Super 3M and it's actually sticking much better. You don't have that bubbling effect as much as you do on the other two. So those ones came out pretty good. Functional, but not beautiful. And then this is the last one for the lift glass. Don't mind all the kind of debris. I have to go back and clean up all this extra adhesive. It works. It fits the back glass really, really well, and it serves its purpose. This is just something I have to do. It's not an if. I need to go back and stitch a little bit on this Velcro here and actually stitch it onto the Reflectix because over time it just moves from the sun beaming on it, it's black, so it's gonna absorb a lot of heat, get really hot, and the Velcro tends to peel off. So what I need to do in the long run is take some thread and needle and stitch a little bit of the Velcro, all of them, to make sure that they don't come off. And I'm gonna have to do that for all of the blackout curtains. So I was thinking, where am I gonna store all of these? And I honestly think if I'm not using them, the perfect place would have been underneath the floor, but unfortunately they're a little too wide to fit here. So I think underneath the mattress is probably the best bet. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. Are you okay? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I just didn't want to clip my nuts. <laughs> ah. Simple enough to just slide them underneath the mattress when not in use and they're out of the way. Because of the Velcro on the pads, they stick really nicely to this lining that I added over the past month or so. Line it up and then just press it on. The back glass is gonna be a little bit tougher to show you on camera. We have four pieces of Velcro around the edges on the glass facing side. I had to add the other side of the Velcro and stick it to the glass. So that way the Velcro on the curtain would have something to actually stick to put the back glass curtain on. Obviously I would do this from inside the camper, but I'm trying to show you guys how it's done. It'd be too dark in here to capture it. But essentially, imagine it's closed. I would kind of bend it like this to get it beyond the struts and match the sides. And then I would find the top and place that piece of Velcro, get the sides and the bottom last. And then all together, I can then become like Frodo in his little hobbit home. Let me show you guys real quick the night shots to show you that it actually doesn't leak light. It's pretty light proof. And by the way, when I'm gonna be truck camping or stealth camping, I'll have the windshield Reflectix up on the cab of the truck. So that will block a lot of visibility this way. I'm not too worried about it. And if I want, I can add the curtains, but let me cut to a night shot, show you guys me putting a ton of light inside the truck, hopping out, with all the curtains on and we'll see if any light actually is exposed. This one, I'm gonna bring the light inside, no curtains, just the window tint. I'll walk around the truck and we'll see how much light is actually getting out just with the window tint alone. So you guys can definitely see the light and there's even a ton of light reflection bouncing off the ceiling and all that and the glass just especially at nighttime, doesn't do much. It's almost like there's no tint at all. Now I'm gonna put the curtains on and we'll walk around the truck after I put the light back in and see how much light, if any, leaks out of the truck camper.
here's the verdict. With a really bright light inside, you can actually see a little bit of light leak right there in the corner and maybe even more so right there in that corner. So, and even a little bit right there. I may have to make, like I said, a second uh, version of these, in which case maybe I'll make them even a little bit bigger. That way they fill up those edges, but that's with a bright light. If I'm trying to be discreet, I'm not gonna use a light that bright. I'm not trying to talk this down. I was aiming for light proof curtains and I didn't quite get it. On the sides, there's absolutely no light leaks though. Now, if you're in the front of the truck, um, I would usually, like I said, put my Reflectix up in the windshield. You could see in, I intend to put up some, maybe like a temporary curtain, so at least it dims the light a little bit. And, uh, but you know, from the sides, you still wouldn't be able to see that much. Uh, really, it's only if you're looking through the windshield. And like I said, I would have normally the windshield Reflectix up anyways. Pretty happy with the result. But as you can tell, they work out pretty freaking well. I'm stoked with them. As far as how they look, definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. I might call these prototype number one and I may do a nicer set afterwards and really sew on everything. I think sewing would be the ultimate goal here to adhere every piece of fabric to the curtains uh, successfully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I haven't seen a lot of videos that go maybe this in depth or make this type of curtain for a truck camping setup. So hopefully you guys find it. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, put a comment down below if you have any questions and uh, let me know how it goes if you tackle this project yourself. I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.